Mr. Khan, I want you to succeed, sir. This whole town wants you to succeed. The president called me this morning himself and asked me to back you all the way. We are very honored by Mr. Reagan's- I don't answer to the president. I answer to the fine people of South Carolina. So I'm gonna ask you what they're gonna ask me. Why should I send my money to the other side of the world when I'm struggling to put food on the table for my own children? Senator, your people must be made to understand the political ramifications of this struggle. Mr. Khan, these are real people. You know when real people care about other people's politics? When other people put a gun to their head. Now, if I'm gonna get my people to agree to sacrifice for your struggle, I can't do it with politics. But I can't do it talking about you. What you've done, what you've sacrificed, something true. Straight from here. We are not a people who boast. No, sir, not boast. You just tell it like it is. What this struggle has cost you, personally. We do not share such things in public. It is shameful for us to share our pain. God help us, Mr. Khan, but here all people want to do is share their pain. In my country, this is unacceptable. Well, in my country, Mr. Khan. Now, you've come here hat in hand, and I'm telling you, this is what you're going to have to do. Do you want me to tell this? To a man like this, this is what I must do. We're trying to help you, Mr. Look, Khan. Just you not get... My wife was killed by the Soviets. Last month, in the night, burning my house and my wife. My children, who were there, who escaped, they saw this. My daughters tell me they cannot sleep now for telling me she burned and burned until her bones were charred and dust. Tell your people, this is what this war has cost me. Ask them what they would do if it was their wife. Tell them, I fight on. <laughs>